Love is a Many Splendid Thing was a sweet and sentimental romantic film starring William Holden and Jennifer Jones from 1955. The film is set in Hong Kong around the time of the Korean War, I think it's the late 1940s. William Holden here plays Mark Elliott, who's a war correspondent who, pretty early on in the film, falls madly in love with Jennifer Jones' character, the Eurasian doctor, Dr. Han Suyin. And we follow along with them as their romance grows. They go on these sweet dates together, go out for dinner or for a boat ride, or they go swimming together to meet with some friends. And the film is really heavy on the sentimentality and can be a little maudlin at times, but I still enjoyed it. They even meet with a fortune teller at one point who uses beetles to help divinate the future. And that was interesting. Anyhow, the cinematography of this film is beautiful. It's very nicely capturing the scenery around Hong Kong, particularly that sequence on the hilltop. I thought it was very beautifully done. Now, to be fair, sometimes the sets could look a little fakish, like when they're by the waterside, but, you know, it's all good. The plot isn't overly complex, and it tells a nice love story, but in addition to the romance, the story also deals with themes of racial tension or society kind of looking poorly on mixed relations as well as what is technically an extramarital affair. So the character of Dr. Suyin is widowed, but Mark Elliott is still married to an estranged wife who won't allow for divorce. And this leads to issues a little later in the film when this gossipy old woman at the hospital, Adeline Palmer Jones, played by Isabel Elsom, who disapproves of their relationship, ultimately sees to it that she's removed from the hospital staff. And you know, I won't say much more of the story at this point, but it is a very powerful ending to the film. And if you get a chance, check this one out. It's pretty good. Also noteworthy is the music by Alfred Newman. It is a gorgeous score with a very memorable motif that you hear throughout. And be aware too, this isn't the hardened William Holden of Sunset Boulevard or anything like this. Rather, he just plays a war correspondent who falls in love with this Eurasian doctor in Hong Kong. So expect plenty of romance, not so much crime noir or anything like that. But it's still a good film. It's worth checking out. And uh, one quick closing thought. I've been reading through the book The Golden Boy by author Bob Thomas, and he talks about the life of Holden, and it was amusing to read the details regarding this particular film. Apparently, William Holden and Jennifer Jones, although they have what looks like a beautiful romance on screen, apparently did not get along well at all in the film. <laughs> she would complain heavily throughout the film about the makeup, the costumes, and so on, and Holden just failed to sympathize with her and she would repeatedly say things like I'm going to go tell David about this I guess she was married to prominent producer David O. Selznick at the time and anyhow the two did not get along well with each other at one point Holden tried to make peace and gave her a bouquet of white roses and apparently she threw them right back in his face <laughs> man but anyhow beyond the real life details it is a beautiful romance, and it's a good film. It's worth checking out. <laughs>